Hi, welcome to our Getting Started for Teams with Remote Desktop Manager. So we split this tutorial in 10 quick and easy steps to make it easier for you to get started with RDM. Step one will be how to register your Remote Desktop Manager license. Step two, add your data source for Teams. Step three, select your security provider. Step four, create your folder structure. Step five, create your default settings. Step six, create your users. Step seven, create your roles. Step eight, create your entries. Step nine, grant permissions. And finally, step 10, import your data. So I know it might seem like a lot, but honestly, if you follow each and every step, it will make it much easier for you. So let's get started with how to register your Remote Desktop Manager license. You see, RDM can be registered by manually providing a license serial or with a license serial stored directly in a data source. When you launch RDM for the very first time, you'll automatically be prompted by the register the application window to enter your license serial. Your license serials are sent by email, so you'll just need to copy your serial from your email, then in the register the application window, enterprise edition, enter your name, email, paste your serial, and then click on OK. If you don't have the register the application window that automatically prompts, no worries. Simply go and help, register product, and you'll find the window right there. So now you're done with step one and ready to add your data source for Teams in step two.